Hey guys, it's Sean, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alone in the Dark 2024. On the last video, we... well, we did a lot, actually. We... well, we went to the Hateful Mound to start off the video, and then uh, we went to this uh, graveyard where we found... Um, She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. A character that we never actually met. Um... Oh my gosh, what is her name? <laughs> I can't say what her name is. Let's look in the patient file. She's in here somewhere. Um, Elizabeth Perosi, or Elisabetta Perosi. That's who it was. Um, yeah. And now we brought her back, which doesn't look suspicious at all. And there's no way we'll ever be implicated. So don't even worry about it. We're still in chapter two of the game. Let's take a look at our objectives. Perosi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they don't know about it yet, so they can't react to it. That's what that's that's what I was saying earlier. All right, let's um open up Jeremy's trunk with the luggage key. Let's see what's in there. Barlow lens. This is for the telescope downstairs. Okay, a lens that can be used to uh, can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. Are you guys there. as excited as I am? He locked that up. Eh, it's like a weird thing to lock up. Maybe it unveils the truth somehow. Uh, let's take a look. Jerry found a way to enter Terawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Conby suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Well, let's do it then. Um, let's see. Sitting room is pink. So is Dr. Gray's office. That's probably the last place we go. Um, the clerk's office and the drawing room, but th that's basically it. And once we go to the drawing room and use the telescope, we'll only have the other ones um, ready. Now the sitting room needs uh, the country of France to be put in, which, um, you know, eventually we'll be able to do that uh, uh, to the globe. You know, the country of France needs to be put in. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Now what, where's that? Oh, yeah, Dr. Gray's apartment is, is shut off. We can't go in there yet. Excuse me. Here I go. Going to the telescope right now. I don't understand why the, the music starts and stops in here. I guess it's the gramophone here or whatever. I don't know. Kind of annoying, though. Okay, I'm... I'm trying to focus the lens. Here we go. I mean, that's pretty focused, isn't it? Oh, okay. We need it, like, all lined up, or... I mean, I've made it. Oh. Now, how is this supposed to help us? There we go. Whoa. Find the talisman coordinates for Terra. Oh. Oh no, we're still okay. Yeah, 
Man, I mean, I'm not... Okay, you guys, it, you gotta understand. It's not that I'm wanting a slide puzzle, okay? It's just I keep thinking that we're gonna get one, and then we end up getting something that I'm like, oh, it's really easy, actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, we're, we're, we're almost done here. There we go, we did it. Nine, four, one. Again, it's not that I want a slide puzzle. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Oh yeah, the dining room or whatever. Yeah, we passed that earlier, didn't we? We're back here. Okay. Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Tarawea? The dining room. Now, where is the dining room? Oh, it's like right here. Beyond or behind the stairs. Okay, so I guess we go in there. Like, I feel like we're almost done with this place. You know, one reason why Resident Evil uh, 1 is such a good game is like... It takes forever to explore the mansion. And every room feels like... Like it has such an impact because it took you so long to unlock. And I feel like here we're just kind of blazing through things. But maybe I'm just really smart. I don't know. <laughs> so smart. Here we go. What do you mean here we go? Wait, he said that when I pulled out the gun. <laughs> Okay. What is this? Do you guys see this? Wait, does this blow up? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> the gate will open in the dining room. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just kind of... I shoot stuff! Oh! Oh, it goes through here? Oh! Oh, we're in chapter three, y'all. Hello? I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity, a spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their Seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? 
you should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, Detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Okay. Oh. Kind of an awkward end to that cutscene. I got an achievement. Somewhere else entirely. Find the convent of Teroea. We can talk to him some more if we want to. You have any advice on how to deal with the Dark Man? Mm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. So, like, don't look at him? Is that kind of the idea? So don't look at him. Okay, he's, uh... He's like the, the amnesia monsters. Are we... Yeah, yeah, no map. That's okay. Oh, wait, is he in here? Oh, this is the library. We're already in here. Wow, there's just brown books upon brown books. Brown bricks? Minecraft. I love finding brown books and the library. It's the most fun one can possibly have while hanging out in the library. Is this the only place that I can go? Okay, before we do that, I'm so sorry, guys. Just want you to know my sincere apologies for this. But I'm going to go make sure I can't go anywhere else before we do that. Okay, that's barred off. That's barred off. That's where we came in, but we can't go in there anyway. That's barred off. Wait. I thought I saw something pop up. No, that's barred off. Okay, we'll talk to you a couple more times. We'll exhaust dialogue with you. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away is origin. His hair's freaking out. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilban. Excuse me? What did you call me? Edward de Vilban. But my name's Edward Carnby. Is that, did you like literally translate my name or de Vilban? Or is it like a weird nickname that he gave me? All right, let's go. Ugh. Y'all ready for this? Okay. Are there any lanyaps here? Lan lan lanyaps? I think that's how you guys said to pronounce it. That's not the Dark Man, is it? No, that's just like a statue. Yeah. And he's not the statue, surely. Okay. I guess we just, uh, we just move on. Don't need to have my flashlight out. There's something missing. Okay, yeah, a cross of some kind. Look, he's pointing up there. He's like, that way. That way. Oh, and then there's this one that's like, I'm creeping around the corner with my book. You can't touch my book. You can't have it. These books kind of stand out. I guess it's like an encyclopedia, yeah. That's the encyclopedia look. 
Let's bring the shotgun out. We'll see how the dark man uh, likes a shotgun. I don't think he'll like it. <laughs> the great library. The great library it was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. Okay. Got it. Who made all these uh, sculptures? It's <laughs> a lot of work. I've noticed that when we're not in the main map, there aren't any land yaps. At least I don't. Oh, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Have there been? I think it's only in the the map that we return to. Do they do that so they're not missable? Maybe. Okay, that's overgrown. I could be wrong though. Maybe. Uh, maybe there's one here or there. I just don't remember finding any. What is all that sound? Okay. Ooh, a globe. Can we take France from this one? Look, there it is right there. Just take it. It's a puzzle that we need. Oh, oh. The key of Hubertus. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. <laughs> okay, okay. Is he killing me right now? Don't pay him any attention. That's very loud. Very loud. Okay. Okay, so he's down here now. Interesting. Can I go through here? See, it's a land yap. Unmasked evil. Oh, forbidden knowledge. Bull worship is common throughout history. For Christians, this can be seen in Exodus when the Israelites turned to worship a golden calf in Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to the worship witnessed in Egypt, known as the Hapsis or the Hapis Bull. Another famous example is the Minoans on the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurs, the half man, half bull monster that uh, reigned the labyrinth. But for this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity Astarte that brought the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, this celestial bull would prove difficult to defeat. Only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gilgamesh able to pierce an eye with a spear which bled the bull to death. Um... So, you know, th that's not exactly forbidden knowledge, I would say. I would say that's common knowledge for anyone who took English classes. I don't really 
totally get it. Okay, I'm going out. Wait, there's multiple of him. wanted to see I was like am I just am I running from him for no reason oh pistol bullets nice damn dude Don't pay him any attention. It's like, okay. I don't know. Did I use the cross up here? Am I supposed to get it afterwards? Oh no, I've still got it, right? Yeah, I've still got it. Okay. We gotta get down somehow. Come on, Eddie. How do I get him to leave right here, dude? See up here? Oh my gosh. Can I just say, too, that um, this guy, I mean, this is not exactly, like, the most incredible uh, moment of the game or anything. So I guess we gotta lure him over here. Like, he's gotta, yeah, he's gotta come this way. Come on this way, dude. Okay, there we go. I guess I guess that's what we do. I don't know. It's kind of strange, right? I know he's right there, but like see you later. I was kind of thinking that the main antagonist wouldn't be I don't know, so passive. He's so passive. This sucks. Are we done? 
That was like... Not exactly thrilling, we'll say. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's go upstairs then. Hmm. Yeah, I was kind of expecting more out of the dark man. Than to just be able to kind of run around him. Or hide from him, you know? Uh, okay, so I'm all done. I, I can't go in here, right? It looks like... It looks like you can drop down right there or something. Oh no, it's overgrown. I don't know, I guess we're good here? Yeah. Okay, we'll put the key of Hubertus in again. And... It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. <laughs> Detective! Juan. What? What? Why don't you tell me about that whistle ahead of time? Excuse you, Juan. I fear there is no <laughs> So close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garby, think. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, Detective. Huh? <laughs> you know, I liked that when we tried to point the gun at the Dark Man, we ended up pointing it at ourselves. I thought that was like a cool touch, but that's about the only Thank thing I like about God that. you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon. In case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. <laughs> I know. I have great taste, detective. Whiskey? I'm surprised you can taste anything. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw it in a dream once. What? Huh? <laughs> Ruth wants to dance. You don't know the Prext shipping company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? 
No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. By the way, that's my cigarette, so... How about you come back with that? I mean, I guess I got... I guess I got more. <laughs> Whatever. I got an achievement. Drop me off in New Orleans. Escape the dark man. Yeah, it was a real challenge. Matchbook. Okay. And this uh, gives us forbidden knowledge in the Crescent City. New Orleans lies southwest of Derceto, along the Great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the... Pff, I'm not even going to try. Is the home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around the center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz-crazed flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. <laughs> Not the most sensitive way to phrase that, whoever, whoever wrote this, whatever newspaper reporter this is supposed to be. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Derceto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. Uh, now, I know that that's fully voice acted, but... I just wanted to read it. They take uh, the down. voice actors. They like to take According their time. To the book in Tarawea, the dark man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't need this tip up anymore, please. I don't want to quickly throw the item. I want to save the Molotov. Can I save it? The problem is, is that like once I tap it to pick it up, like. That's it. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, dude. Come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on, buddy. This way. This way. So I got hurt by the fire a little bit. Um, whoopsie. Didn't think about that part. Um, but I hit him with the ore. Pretty good. Ooh. Thanks. I'll take the take a drink real quick. Hmm. Ooh, debris. Oh, yeah. This is just called debris. Oh hell yeah. You want some, huh? My weapon broke. Ugh. My weapon! No! My weapon! Oh, oh. My weapon! Okay, well. That was overkill. I'm I'm on fire. Ow. Okay, yeah, that was overkill. Oh well. Give me that ore. Oh, it's repaired. Look, the ore is repaired all of a sudden. Machine gun cartridge. Excuse you, you could get a machine gun here? Dude, hell yeah. You see that right there? I don't know why. But I find that kind of creepy. Boat out there on the fog. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something about it. Don't like it. Take this uh, shovel. Can I go in here? Can I go in this place at all? No? No, this place is all shut off. You can't go up the stairs. You can't go inside the building. It's just kind of here. Um... No, I can't go out here, can I? It's I it's too foggy. To oh no! Oh man, I don't know where to go. Do you want me to go inside here? It's locked from the other side. Oh, okay. That makes that makes sense. I guess. The flyer title. Mm, alcohol banned. Guards drink prohibition. Check it out. Oh my god. Look at this guy. He thought he caught me by surprise. Yeah? Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not wasting any ammo. Oh, New Orleans Docks, pure number 11 clue. So we're in the Harbor Master's office right now. There's a sewer entrance. I see. The sewer system has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Yeah. Well, let's try it. Buddy boy. Take that. I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I decided to use a couple bullets or shells. Did he just call shotgun shells bullets? That's incorrect. That's my impersonation of you guys. In case that wasn't clear. What? It's locked. Take the sledgehammer. It's like the Peter Gabriel song, see? Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, we go up. Whenever you're ready, Edward. Okay. Um, yeah, we can't explore the rooftop. We're just supposed to drop down. Can I have the map of the whole world? <laughs> I don't know why I would need that, but... Wow, they're giving us tons of ammo. Stevedore's key. Ew. And we'll unbolt this, thanks. Hmm. Let's see. So we've been on both sides of the Harbor Master's office. Wow. Oh, actually, okay, I can't go back. Oh. You wanna go? We can go. Ew, look at that. Okay, you know what? Ow. Wait, is he going outside? Excuse me. I thought he was trying to go back outside. That was kind of funny. I don't like it in here. People are mean. I want to go back. I'm accepted out there on the dock. Okay. Can we go over here? Typewriter ribbon. Okay. Nice. There's a... A brick there, but... Not really that useful. Before we go down there, I'm just gonna go this way real quick. Because I don't think I've... Been over here. What's all this? Stevedore's key? We can rotate the crane. I'm not sure why. All done. All done. All, all done what? Oh, oh my god. Okay. Aiming this thing is kind of annoying. Oh my god. I should have... Uh, oh no! I hate that... Uh, I hate that they're like that. Okay. It's like... Stunlock City. Ah! Oh, I'm all the way back here. Uh There we go.
Okay. That's better that time, I guess. Okay, so I, I think I got the land yap over here. Let me just double check though. Okay, yeah, it saves that, I guess. It saved what I did with the crane. So I think we're all set to go into the sewers now. Let me get that drink, because I remembered seeing that. And then there's some pistol bullets there. See, it saves some things, but not others. I'm not really sure why. Oh, these guys respawned. Okay, I'm going in. Going into the sewer, here it goes. Yo? Anyone here? Can you imagine Edward Carnby saying yo? I can. That's why I said it. I was able to imagine it. Some people have a vision. That's me. Um... I guess we'll get a pipe. Oh, okay, let's get him. Let's throw this at him. Hey, idiot. <laughs> get him! Get him, get him! Get him! Oh, what? Okay, it broke, but um, now was that worth it? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That didn't say, it seems like you should have just left that guy alone. And you're right. What the hell? You know what? I'm gonna pick this up, and I hate that there's no way to store it, and you move two miles an hour while you have it out, but... This is just the metagame, okay? Anything? Let's see, we saw something run around in here. Okay, I'm guessing there's nothing, uh... Okay, let's pick this up. Okay, wait, there's somebody over here. Look at this guy. Let's hit him with it. Ah! Ah, 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 ah. Okay, um... Three headshots, you're welcome. <laughs> Say hello to your mother for me. Uh, I guess we go that way, but... I keep wanting to check to see if there's any... Anything... In these dead ends. Not really rewarded for it so far. That's okay. Okay, I think we're supposed to go up here, but... Oh! Yeah, we are. But, aha, uh -huh, now see? Ah, oh, well, it's just a health drink. I got two, though. I think I got two. Excuse me. All right, we're maxed out on drinks. All right. Made it inside hmm. the warehouse. The office must be upstairs. It kind of is set up for stealth here, isn't it? And there's a couple of Molotovs just sitting around. You know, they got... For Prohibition era, there's a lot of alcohol just sitting around. <laughs> I mean... And just in plain sight, isn't this stuff supposed to be illegal? Anybody? Ooh, a lanyap. A severed horn. Oh, here we go. Forbidden knowledge. Asleep with anesthetized anesthetized mind, Jeremy filtered these words from Dercento's gangrenous ground. Ever their praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice and judge our worth. Ea. Mmm. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable saying that. <laughs> the black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Um, 
Yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead and just move on from that. All right. Now, um, that, that is a Lovecraftian monster, by the way, that they were talking about in there uh, with the with the suspicious name. Um, so that's, you know, something that H.P. Lovecraft came up with. It's not something that they wrote for the, for the game in, in 2024, okay? That's, that's an old, old one. I don't know, I'm not saying it makes it better. It makes it a little better, though, I'd like to think. That somebody in 2024 didn't just be like, you know, it'd be a great name for a monster. Or a god, or whatever. Ooh! Machine gun. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. Ooh, Tommy gun. Always wanted to try one of these. All right. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. So those are highlighted. What later in hell? I think that's part of the modern hint system that I have. I'm not... What is left? Later is right. Hell is back again. So that's... Is that a safe combination? What later hell... What is left? Later is right. Hell is back again. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really know how we're supposed to solve that. Um, Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans. Close to the docks, he could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. Sorry, I'm moving back over here. Uh, yeah, um... Okay, so we've already we've already done that. What is left? Later is right, and hell is back again. When they, when they say back again, I kind of thought, like, go oh, the previous one, but I bet it's, like, left, right, back, no? Hmm. What is left? Later is right. Hell is back again. <laughs> Feeling really stupid on this one. Like... Our ship was raided while in dock. Maybe he All says that things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. They're trying to tell us the safe combination. But I'm just like not getting it. 
at all. Is there something, is there some way that I'm supposed to get like actual numbers? You know? Mississippi River. There's no numbers on this thing. Municipality one through six. Well. Yeah, I, I like I couldn't tell ya. Are there numbers out here? Like everything is leading to the safe. Hmm. You know what? I'm doing it. Wasn't you complaining about the puzzles being too easy earlier? Yes, I was. Now shut up. All right. Safe. Let me check out the safe. Let's see. Um, I just want a clue. Read the note carefully. If you have clues on, some words will be formatted in bold. I even have the clue. The clue is in the letters. What later in hell? <laughs> the person responded, how exactly am I supposed to get numbers from this? Um... Okay. Well, I'm going to look at it again. I didn't get... I didn't read through the whole thread. So if you're supposed to get a number from these. <laughs> I mean, it, pay attention to the letters, like the number of letters. It's not four, five, four, is it? No. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So we do, okay. Left to four. Right to five. It's the number of letters in the word. Mm. Okay. September 19th, 1892. Black shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Okay. Okay, so we, we got go. that. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. Great. So now we're about to fight our way out of here. I'm guessing we're gonna... Are we gonna fight in here? Holy! Oh my gosh. I was sitting there like... Um... Oh. Oh. Okay, I did I did do a couple of shots here. Come on up. Come up. The water's fine. Apparently there's something to interact with down there. I don't I don't remember saying that. Okay. Okay. Come on up, guys. Come on up. Come on. I got an achievement. Whatever it takes. Kill a monster with an opportunity. Yeah? Oh, everybody else is dead. I did not know. What do you mean opportunity? I've killed people with Molotovs before. Or people. Monsters. Oh, and then we're back out. Okay. So now I've got the address. Oh, now we know where to go, huh? 
There's times when this game kind of reminds me of like the sinking city. A little bit. The fog bank has lifted. The address you were looking for is just down the street. This? Okay. But are you sure there's not any Lanny app to pick up? Although I gotta say, I am like increasingly discouraged from finding all the Lanny apps. Considering, um, oh, considering the rewards for them are like kind of crap. I mean, let's take a look real quick, right? Like forbidden knowledge kind of, kind of is crap. Secret objective I'm interested in. Yeah, these two secret objectives are interesting. Three secret objectives. Unlock the shotgun cabinet, that was great. Um, unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. That sounds great too. But the rest of these forbidden knowledge, if it's just gonna be like kind of a weird lecturing paragraph, I'm just not that interested. Okay, that had nothing in it, great. I'm full on drink. Okay, now, now we're good. Um, but you know, whatever. I'll still find them just because it's something to do. Some kind, some kind of extra to do rather than go from point A to point B. Okay. So that's the dark man, right? Uh, okay, let's go. Oh. It's Jeremy. We found him again. You want to tell me what this is all about? <laughs> Welcome, detective. It's like he's talking to his son. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are. We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about nah, to tell me how to break the sure contact didn't. with the dark man. No, we can't. We were trying to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll see How do you that. save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Well, he's gonna get saved, okay? It's kind of funny, like, uh, I'm, I'm picking up, like, psychological horror vibes from this. I, I never played the original on the dark, from what I understand. For some reason, I thought this was, like, a reboot of the original 1992 game. But I think it's a, a reimagining based on some of the comments you guys have made. So I guess it's kind of a retread of the... Oh, there's some ghosting around his model. Look at that. Oof. I'm just kidding. 
Um, yeah, it kind of makes me think... Oh. Uh, okay. Nice. Interesting. I'll ride this thing. I remember seeing that in the, uh, the commonplace book. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video here. I know that the last two videos were like two hours long, but frankly, they were kind of exhausting <laughs> to get through. So um, I'm gonna cap this one at around an hour. But um, enjoying the game still, but I think the cracks are starting to show with it. It's, um, I think it's just gonna, it's, it's not gonna be one of those that I uh, plan on revisiting in the future, like, or won 100% achievements for, or I'm going to look back at the end of the year and be like, that was one of the best games of the year. Um, but it's not bad so far. Um, but it's just not... It's not great. It's good, I would say, but it's like, it's like a solid 6 out of 10 experience for me so far. And it's leaning towards a 5 more than leaning towards a 7. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't have a whole lot of like, th there's nothing in the game so far that I'm like, I'll tell you what really is driving me crazy. Uh, this this really is offensive. This is really bad. Everything's like kind of good, but kind of mediocre. And we'll see how it develops as the game moves on. I'm not really sure how far we are into it, but we'll, we'll see if, if at some point they kind of pull off all the stops. Like, I kind of want the game to get a little crazier than it's getting. It's It's been very safe and very normal so far, and I've been kind of wanting it to go off the rails and get a little weird with it. But we'll see. You know, there's still room for that. I'm just, I'm worried at this point that that's not going to happen. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Alone in the Dark 2024 so far, and I'll see you in the next episode in two days. Think critically.